Good morning everyone. Uh, welcome again back to SFN. Guys, please before we get started, go to the bottom, like the videos if you do, if you don't, please comment, let us know what's going wrong. If you want anything different, you want a new species for us to do, put it in the comment section, we do read them. Also subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, let you get notified as soon as anything comes out. So today, we are going to be talking about a species that's either loved or hated. Um, it's called the round ribbon tail ray. Now, the scientific name is Tanyura Mieni. It's quite a, quite a tricky one. The, so the round ribbon tail is very similar to like your, to about a blue skate in shape. They've got a very, very round profile. So it's not like your brown skate or your honeycomb that comes to that pointed nose. They've got, it's almost like a big suction cup and that's kind of how they behave. You've got a very, very round skate, shortish tail, um, and where they get their name ribbon tail from, they've got this extension, almost a little fin on the bottom of their tail, it comes out the back, that sits like a little, a little fin on the bottom of the tail, it goes all the way, a little paddle on the back. Now, in terms of what that's used for, I don't actually know. Um, the science behind, or at least the research behind a lot of the ribbon tail stuff is very sparse, and we actually don't know a lot about the species itself. But in terms of, as you mentioned, coloration, things like that, it's a darkish color, almost a, a lot of mottled patterns on the top. It's, it's actually a very pretty skate when you get them out of the water. You'll see by the pictures that we put up here, they are, a, are quite a pretty species. Now, same as all the other rays, when handling them, they do have a spike on the tail, but it's just behind the end of the ray itself. So you're gonna wanna be careful when handling them. You don't wanna rub your hand up the tail, because that's how you get a spike in your hand, believe me, I know. And you also, when you're handling them, you've got two methods of if you want to be careful of that spike. One is to, if you're on sand, to put your foot onto the tail itself, obviously wearing a shoe, something nice and soft that's not going to damage it. Or you can get a cloth and you just wrap it around where the spine is on the tail. But the ribbon tail is not a grumpy fish, it's not like a blue skate that likes to actually hurt you. He just wants to get back in the water, so he's going to sort of just sit there and relax. Now, Size-wise, they get to about 1.6 meters disc width and about 3 meters in length, so around about there. But that um, that width that they've got, they're very, very deep species. So even a shortish, um, or say shortish, even a narrow uh, ray is still going to be very heavy in weight. Now they use that weight and that shape of theirs to suction onto the bottom, and they are much like a thorn tail, are an absolute bugger when, when they sit down. You cannot, cannot move them. Very similar to your black skates. Um, so that's just, you either do one or two things, you either apply maximum pressure, especially if you're using, you know, proper tackle like, you know, Dawa stuff and uh, J-Braid and things like that, where you can actually rely on the tackle, not parting. If you're using something else, then you're probably going to best just be set to wait a little bit. Now, obviously getting him up, once he's up off the bottom, you can then pull him quite easily. They don't generally go like diamonds where they go sideways, they'll more cruise on the surface, so you can actually pull them once they're up off the bottom. Otherwise, yeah, they feed on the bottom with that bottom mouth. They're going to be eating a lot of squid baits, they really enjoy a good squid bait, but also anything that's nice and mushy. So cutlet baits with bonito, mackerel, any of your, your fishy uh, or fleshy fish baits. Now, in terms of breeding wise, they bear live young, but we don't actually know when they breed and things like that. That, that research hasn't been put there. And yeah, other than that, there's not really much to, to the ribbon tail. It's just a very, very strong species. We get them down KZN and up north, all the think all the way up into about the Red Sea side. Uh, Southwise, into the trans sky ish, not really lower than that. But obviously, climate change and everything, we get movement of these distributions all the time, so it's very difficult to define an area where they're going to be. But yeah, ribbon tails, handle them well, don't pull them up onto the dry sand, don't flip them on their back, don't put your fingers in their spiracles, and uh, enjoy the fight because if you need, um, I've got a good chiropractor's number after you've caught them, so yeah, give me a shout. The ribbon tail.